What is up guys, it's Martin Tread here, back for another video for you guys. And the other day I was giving this, uh, this talk to my younger brother who is just finishing high school at the moment. And I thought, well, how about I make a video for YouTube about some tips uh, for younger guys that are starting high school or just uh, going through high school and thinking about moving to job market, going to college or university and pretty much synthesize a few tips that I wish that I had when I was going through high school. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first tip that I got for you guys is actually the use of spreadsheets, either on Excel or in Apple Pages, whatever software of spreadsheets that you might have lying around, that will be a great way to track your progress. When I was going through high school, I didn't have this sort of note-taking system within my, my computers or anything like that. And that would actually help me a lot to track my progress and actually to input what uh, what was the, the weight of each grade and of each class for my overall grade. I know this may differ between high schools, but it can always be adapted to that specific high school. So for example, if I do a test or I have an upcoming test, I can just put that specific grade on that specific cell and get a projection of what my grade will be down the road and how that projection work with the other uh, estimates of the grades that I have or are gonna have uh, for that year and for previous years in case if your total average, uh, like in my case, was weighted not only based upon the current year where I was at, but also in the previous years that you know, entail the whole of high school. So for example, if you have uh, five or six subjects, and by the start of the school year, you already have an idea or uh, some few guidelines that your professor might give you about what are the specific weights of each specific component of each test, of each midterm, of each project, and this way you can just input your that those guidelines in that Excel sheet and get a projection as you go and an estimate of what you need to achieve a specific goal, a specific average, or in case for uh, the American folks, your GP, GPA. You can do this from scratch, of course. You don't have to necessarily. There are plenty of templates available online if you wish to do so. But I recommend you do it this your way. It's not that hard. Just, cut, just establish some formulas in an Excel worksheet, there are plenty of tutorials online to, to how to do that. And it was just a simple thing that it would, have, it would have helped me a lot when I was going through high school. So the next tip actually has to do with your actually wanting to go to college or university or not. Back when I was uh, about that time of my life where I had to pretty much decide what I wanted to do, I didn't have any other options in mind, either because I didn't know I didn't know anybody who actually had other options or was actually following through those other options or because I just I just didn't know, that, that plain and simple, I didn't know. So I want you to consider this. It, you might not want to sell it to go to college. There are plenty of ways to make a living and to make, to earn your paycheck, so to speak. For example, uh, there are many people who like to take a gap year and within a gap year they try to explore other things they, they might want to do. For example, they might consider a dif different professions, uh, different different um, places to work at or just get a general experience of what it feels to be in a job market in a specific field of interest or they might not do that at all, just per some pursue some interests that you might have at the moment. For example, you might be very good at sports or at a specific craft and you might want to pursue that specific craft or sport or whatever hobby it may be and perhaps make a living, trying to make a way to make a living out of that specific hobby. So college is not the be all and all of your life when high school ends. So just consider that specific option because you might as well go to something you're good at and fulfill it as opposed to some or other degree of course that you might not necessarily dislike but in terms of employability you might as well go do something that you're actually good at and enjoy and might eventually make a living for you 
as opposed to go and go through some other degree that in the context of the job market won't get you much opportunity or as much opportunity as you would expect or even like so just something to consider guys and lastly i want to talk about perhaps the most important tip that i wish i knew back when i was going through this phase of my life and it's actually the ability to do some job shadowing of other people that are, are already in a specific job or craft or profession and actually being employed at that position for a certain amount of time. I didn't know at the time that if this was actually possible, that if I just had took the time to just write a simple email or just ask around among the older folks if, the, if I could go on the job and actually see what that specific job or profession was about. That would probably be of immense help of me at that specific time. And so what this allows you to do is actually to be more aware of what's available and to actually know if that thing is specific for you. For example, in my degree, in the degree that I am currently going through, uh, we don't get if we don't get ourselves out there we don't we will not get uh, an idea of what it feels to be employed in a specific field unless you by your own initiative go and seek after what is actually going through so if you just stay still and go to, to go through the degree you just stay by the um, theoretics of the whole thing if you know what I mean you get you get attached you are, get more attached to the theory and not much not much practicality and what it actually happens out there and this is a big big factor because imagine if you're going to a degree you actually like it and by the time that you get to the job market and actually get a job in that specific field you find out that you just plain hate it like that's the worst thing that might happen to you if after all this time after all this money spent you just end up in yourself you end up in a position where you want to be in if you just had to take the time to write just a couple simple emails and take the opportunity to actually do some job shadowing of a craft or profession that interests you guys. So yeah, just something to consider. So that was it for me today, guys. I hope these tips were useful to you if you're already going through high school. If you're not and I've younger siblings or perhaps you know, some friends that are, that are going through high school at this, pretty, at this very moment, you might just want to skim through this and maybe get give them one or two or even all of these tips so they can take, take it into consideration and perhaps do a better choice down the road and actually pretty much at the end of the day actually improve their lives that because that's what we're all doing and this this is what it's all about guys it's about getting up every day and going to sleep a little a little bit better than the previous day even if it's just a tiny tiny percentage so that was it that's it for me today guys i hope you are staying safe and as always i'll see you in my next video